Hello, this is Brandon McKenzie, the coordinator here at Harvest House of Prayer uh, with Take This City, just sending out an invitation to local congregations, uh, believers in the community, letting you know there is a room here at Take the City's building uh, dedicated to solely uh, to just to prayer. We come, we gather, we worship the Lord, uh, we intercede. And you know, uh, the, the original vision of Take the City is to actually uh, invade the city and take the city for Jesus, to spread the gospel, uh, to see the oppressed set free, to see the broken um, um, just be set free. And one of the ways we do that is through unifying the body of Christ, but another way uh, that we feel is, is, is very important to, to have to reach the city for Jesus is prayer. All throughout history, we see major moves of God, uh, even in the Methodist movement. Uh, it, basically, any denomination you can think of started as a movement birthed out of believers coming together and praying and giving themselves to prayer and, and the Holy Spirit would respond uh, to that, to that consecration, that place of prayer, that heart's cry that says, God, we wanna see you move and, and we love you and we just wanna see you move in this city. This prayer room exists as an intentional way to unite believers in this time and in this day when there is such a great need in the pandemic era, uh, just with things going on. We just believe this prayer room has a potential to, catal to be a catalyst for a move of God in the city. And we believe all believers from all denominational backgrounds, all uh, racial backgrounds, all cultural backgrounds can take part. And you know, our goal is to have 40 hours of prayer in this prayer room every week. Currently we are up to 21 hours of live worship and prayer. And we're already seeing believers from a diverse background come together every day. They come in on this stage and uh, they hook up their instruments, they sing, uh, they praise the Lord. And even when they don't feel like it, you know, sometimes it's, it's a rough week and we don't feel like doing it. We do it anyway. Uh, we just believe in faithfulness and in that place of prayer and just consecrating ourselves to the Lord. So we want to invite you, if you're a pastor, if you're just a believer, uh, if you're a lay person, whatever, if you're a follower of Jesus, this invitation is for you. You have a place in this prayer room, in this Harvest House of Prayer, not just for our sake, not just for Take the City and for our ministry, but we see it as a place belongs to the city, belongs to the region. Come and lock arms with us. Let's cry out, let's pray for God to move in this city. And if you're interested and you hear this and you feel like you wanna get involved, uh, a really good way and an easy way to do that is to go to takethecity.com slash H-H-O-P slash. Go there, it'll give you all the information you need, all the resources you need. You can sign up, you can take up a weekly slot on the wall, uh, or you can just come in. Uh, we are open 7 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. We're always open with a devotional setting, but in the midday hours, 12 to 2 p.m., and in the evening hours of 6 to 8 p.m., we actually have live worship sets and prayer sets. Come and be refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Come and pray. Uh, and we look forward to see you in the prayer room. God bless.